he's not eating my ice cream. He's eating his ice cream. Whoa. Let's try it again. Oh, hello. From Broadway. Welcome. <laughs> Broadway. Welcome That's to the Dumbass Head Podcast. Holy shit, y'all. <laughs> Holy fuck. One more time. No, we, we got it. I'm just saying one at a time. <laughs> one more time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. Welcome to the Dummy Heads Podcast. My name is Susan, and I'm here with my friends Cody. Hello. Nick. Howdy. Rhiannon. Hi. And Robin. Yeah, me. This week, we have a different game. Whoa. <laughs> Robin got me a birthday present. It's a card game called Buzzed. Does everyone have their drink? Yes. Uh, yes. Si, senor. Okay. Okay. Before we do, can I, sh- before we get drunk, <laughs> yes. can I share? I was, yeah, I was just okay. going to explain the new game a little bit. Um, Basically, every card, for example, says, take a drink if you're wearing black underwear, you sexy thing. And if you're wearing black underwear, you take a drink. Not a shot, not drink your whole drink, just a drink of your drink. All right. <laughs> Don't want to get too crazy. <laughs> and unless it says otherwise, uh, the card is only for you. So, like, if I were to pull one that says, take a drink if you're on someone else's Netflix account, only I would take a drink. Unless it says everyone in the room who is on someone else's Netflix account take a drink. Oh, so it's revealing. Oh, mm-hmm. wow. It is. Oh, that's that's a moment. Okay, cool. Uh-huh. Oh. Uh, wow. So, if someone could please shuffle these cards. um. While Cody says his, was it metaphysical theory? theory. He is a theory. Uh, so a game theory. <laughs> thanks for watching. <laughs> Different show though. Uh, so uh, a lot of people say that our culture nowadays has gotten, and you're gonna have to stick with me to the end on this, has gotten more and more sexual. Okay. Now, what if the reason behind this? Was every time you get horny, you're getting fucked by a ghost. No. What so the fuck did the you say? I don't want to be. <laughs> I don't like being raped by ghosts. No. Like if I'm getting turned on. No, no that's ghosted. That's what I'm doing. Oh, <laughs> first of all, oh, well, well, shit. Yeah, must have been a ghost. Here's then. here's a problem with your own theory. You don't believe in ghosts. I. This oh, was more no. of a joke. Okay. This oh. was a joke for the podcast that I had planned, and you've ruined it. <laughs> I crafted this just for you, and you have <laughs> torn my hard work asunder. Well, I'm your... very crafty. I think this is why you're in a theater. The, <laughs> the issue is, I know you're not willing to stick to your theory, because you don't believe in ghosts. No, I just wanted to bring it up because I thought it'd be funny. It was such a good try, though. I, you know what? Let's give a round of applause to the try. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Thank you. Fun fact, if we start talking about the moon, we'll end up arguing about the moon. When the moon? Okay. Meet your eye. Because well, everyone has very pie. strong opinions on the moon. The moon's oh. a fucking oh. rock. Real? It's... <laughs> and obviously made of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> It's a fucking rock that orbits the Earth. What what the fuck more do you want? Or does the Earth orbit, orbit the, moon? the moon? That's not how gravitational pull works. <laughs> what if they're lying to us? I mean, You're an idiot. the Earth is flat, nothing is real, and we're all gonna die. Well, Woo. well the last part is true. <laughs> we, we are all gonna die eventually. Oh, God, don't remind Unless me. Unless you become a vampire, he and then you sentient. don't become dead, you become undead. Come on, Batman Robert Pattinson. Drink me up, boy. <laughs> so how many... Batman Robert Pattinson? <laughs> how many Drink rounds? me up, boy. <laughs> yeah. I, I love everything about that sentence. Thank you so how much. Round of applause for that sentence. Do? Just one? Yeah. Um, but I think we should do three at the beginning and three at the end. Okay. Three at the beginning. Nice. Like three because per it, it person? Because it goes quick. Okay. It goes quick, in okay. theory. And also, if it's three drink, like three little like swigs, that's Ooh, not yeah. that much. So, so should I hand everybody three cards? Would that be easy? Uh, yes, that would be easier. Okay. So three for you. Here, okay. Three for you. And no one look at your cards yet. Three okay. for you. Thank you. Three, three for me. Go around three for me. starting with me, and then we'll just keep going. 
I have cards. Oh, thank you. Like, are we doing them all at once? No, no, no. Like, one okay, at a time. One at a time. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I will start. So, which player has the best smile? The person with the most votes drinks. All right, all right. Cody, I'm going to need to see your smile. Okay, there's Cody's smile. Everyone, everyone, Cody's smile. Nicholas? <laughs> Wait, can I see your smile? There you go. Okay, all right. <laughs> Susan, your smile. Okay, okay. Rhiannon? There, there we go. go. <laughs> all right, all right. Everyone gets one vote. Cody, who do you think of us four have the best smile? I think Susan. She made the bold choice of no teeth. Susan has a drink, or has a vote. Nick. Um, I thought Cody. Okay, Cody has a vote. Susan. I think Nick. Nick. Okay, Rihanna. I I'll be honest. I love your smile. Hell yeah, and uh, uh, Nick. I love the smile. Nick, take a drink. Bye. <laughs> Rihanna. And what do we like for Your turn. All right. Which players have chapstick in their pocket right now? Put those moisturized lips on your cup and take a drink. I don't have anything in I my pocket. I do pockets. not have any chapstick in my pocket. No chapstick. Nobody right. drinks. No drinks. So every player over six feet tall takes a drink for each inch over six feet. Well, I'm six. Uh, I'm, I've been negative six months. I'll take one. Five eleven, motherfuckers. Five three. Five nine. Five six. Just me. <laughs> <laughs> My turn. Yep, you. Whoever had, uh, whoever had to drink last round, drink again, bitch. <sighs> <laughs> that would be Robin. All right, Cody. Every player who has used an inhaler during gym class must now inhale their <laughs> beverage. That's your game. Fucked, Robin. We got Robin and Rhiannon. Here we go. Uh, Alright, Robin, you're around? Oh, yeah. Never during gym Ooh. class, but who use it? In a fight between the youngest and the oldest players, who would win? The person with the most votes gives out two drinks. Robin who? is... So no, Robin's it, not the youngest. It's me, November 4th, 1999. No. Okay, it's... so I'm the youngest and Nick's the oldest, so Wait. you three have to vote on which one of us would win in the fight. I'm which sorry. one of, out of the two? Out of you and Nick, who would win in the fight? I don't this like being... I, I don't after, like the story that I, after the story that I just heard uh, before the podcast started about you crushing... You, you getting real mad and doing some shit. Um, <laughs> I I broke my hand because I punched my couch super hard. Like, oh, like I feel me, like I like me and Nick have anger issues of very much the same so, thing. So, mm. as someone that lives with both of them, I'm going to say Nick because Robin will restrain himself, whereas Nick will immediately react with anger. I feel rather like rather than think. I feel no like offense. Robin will. Like, it, I'm assuming they're both yeah, going like in for an altercation. This is a fight. This is, in theory, both of us are, like, like going at it full force. I think once you lift that veil, Robin's gonna unleash everything he's held back his entire life, and he's gonna, he's gonna start pounding. He's gonna pound Nick's ass. You're, you're, you're painting me as a... I know. As a, as a troubled youth. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, so we got one Nick... One me, Rhiannon. Who do you think? Me or I Nick? gotta say, I'm not gonna say that. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna say Robin. Okay, so I give out two drinks. So I choose two people who have to drink right now. I'm gonna say Susan and Rhiannon both have to drink. Ah, uh, getting the girls drunk. I see how you are. You know how I be. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> All right, Rhiannon, you go. You're up. Do you need another drink? I need another drink. I'll go get you a drink while you Thank you. Uh, there's like a small watermelon boyo. Chuck it at me. Please don't actually chuck it. I will not catch it. Um, what if he upchucks it at you? I would be so sad if he inhaled <laughs> a can and vomited it on me. I'm not okay with that. Um, every player with an Audi belly button takes a drink because that's cute as hell. That's not I fucking got any. I have an any. I have an any. We all have any. Audis have are one. weird. Why turn Susan? Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. <laughs> wait a sec. Hold up, hold up. You just I'm can't kidding. skip over that. <laughs> no kidding. 
I'm just kidding. I, I actually knew a guy with that one. Uh, that's scary. He had a big old scar on most of his torso, so that's where. Uh, that's unfortunate. All though. gingers, yeah. take a drink. Sorry, not sorry. We're all none of us non- are gingers. Not gingers. All right, everyone who'd rather be at home watching Planet Earth high right now instead of being at this party takes a drink. So oh, no, so not here's, what I'm doing. here's the thing. We were. I absolutely adore Planet Earth. But I, I think oh, I like y'all did. more, which is something yeah. big, because I love Planet Earth. Nick's taking Nick, a drink. Nick, you just want to die. I think Nick just needs a drink. I think uh, Nick just likes being high. This is All right, true. Cody? All right, so my card is, every player who meditates has plenty of headspace for another drink, so drink it up. Yeah. I have to because of therapy. <laughs> All right, all right. Oh, oh, oh. I haven't taken oh, a that's drink a yet. Lot of Which player needs a hug the most? The person with the most votes gets a hug. No drinks, no hug, just hugs. So, <laughs> Cody, who do you think needs a hug the most out of us four? I, I think it's Rhiannon. Okay, one vote for Rhiannon. Nick? Um, <laughs> I, th- I think... Oh, man. Um, I think Cody. Cody. Cody, okay. Well okay. then. Me? Rihanna, who do you think? <laughs> Can I vote for myself? <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'm going to say Rihanna. Rihanna. She's, she's, she's having a time. <laughs> yep. Exactly. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Robin. Rihanna, you need a hug. I <laughs> do. <laughs> Stand up. Let's get you a hug. Okay, then I'll grab Come my charger here. at the same time. It'll be great. Come here. Oh, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Oh, oh, no. oh, no. oh, we'll go Susan for a second. Susan. Um, if you've ever bowled a 200 or more, no one cares. Everyone drink. Uh, what? Everyone drink. <laughs> I, was, I was going for the drink anyways. Same here. But now right, no one cares, in? so we all can. Yes. Uh, My computer crashed. Um. Again? Yep. Oh. Both us up. Which which player got a tattoo most recently? Drink and show everyone your dope new ink. Well, that was me. I got it on Tuesday. It is a crocodile with Crikey in the middle of it for Steve Irwin. Why? Because I love him. And he's the man of my dreams. So. He's dead now. He is very dead now. Uh, Uh That stupid freaking sea uh, pancake. Gone done stumbling. Made him a little spicy. Nick, it is your turn. All right. Take a take a drink for each hard drug you've you've ever tried. Wheat does not count. Uh. Then. Uh. Does uh, opioids uh, count? Does my steroids for my sinus infection no. count? No. I, I'm do assuming not prescribed by a doctor. Opioids do count. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Damn. <laughs> I have a lot of nerve damage. Aha. Uh-huh. And a lot Wait, of emotion. Shit. Wait, was it was it prescribed? I had to take opioids too. Uh ca- sure. Okay. That means it was a Yeah, I know. Have you already drank from it? No. Well, it tastes like blue water. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's Can I taste it? Cody, you're Cody. Right. All right, quick, everyone, put their middle finger into uh uh, put up their little mi- middle, 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 middle. Quick, everyone, put up their middle finger. The last one to do so drinks. I've been you. <laughs> I stumbled you over my words so much it. that we, as soon as you said middle finger, all of us raised. Yeah, their middle yeah, they all raised it, and I was trying to read. My dyslexic ass is dead. Does anybody else put their thumb out whenever they flip people off? Yes, because I, I always st- do. I stack, Sometimes I stack my I stack my index finger like. Okay. You know, instinctual. Maybe it's because I call people You know where the middle finger came from? Do you uh, want to know? It's down on our hands for a long no, time. No, but the uh, <laughs> the uh, like middle finger gesture of flipping someone off. No. In the Hundred Years' War, it was uh, there was English bowmen, and because you know bows and arrows, 
being able to uh, impale people from a distance was really fucking effective. As soon as they were, like, caught, they had their middle finger chopped off so that they couldn't, you know, use their bow and arrow anymore because you use the middle finger to draw the arrow. So, English bowmen would raise their middle finger as a taunt to the French during the Hundred Years' War. What about your index finger? You use that to draw back a bow. They you they cut off the middle finger probably so that they could still you point. You could still you could still use your still ring finger. finger. Listen, don't ask me they, the logistics why of were they so Frenchmen. Dumb? Don't why? ask. You're the one who brought this up, Cody. <laughs> why don't you know? <laughs> why? Okay, cool. Let me just research the hell out of Here's every fun fact, fact oh, I try to bring up. Here's this fact. Oh, you want to ask me another follow-up question on it? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> but do I look like a fucking Frenchman from the Hundred Years' War? Absolutely no, you not. you look like a pony. <laughs> Sometimes. 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 <laughs> Oh, We're boy. 16 minutes in. I'm gonna be real with y'all. I was not prepared for this week. Why were you not prepared for this? <laughs> um, you had all day. We were even recording you, you late today. To hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Save my dick. That's his job. I think that was. Uh, that, that, what? The rules were reversed for that one. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Who gets anything in that recording? <laughs> no you, gets, you get no to one, hear it. No one gets anything out of that situation. Sucking a strap on? <laughs> it's uh, a what is that sight? Listen. Who does that? I sight? listen. I. <laughs> some people, they get like sort of a satisfaction that they know that the guy will. So here's, I have a question for you. Uh, yeah? Have you ever sucked a man's dick? Multiple. It is so unpleasant. Why would you <laughs> want to voluntarily suck silicone? What, it, uh. Listen, what is a silicone sometimes you want to like do two at once. Sadness. Sometimes you want to do, you want to get fucked with two at once, but you don't have enough holes. So like, what? one hole's not big enough for two. So here's the thing. A, <laughs> females have more than one hole. I know, but and I'm not a B, female. I think that would be really no, no, no bueno. No bueno? For anyone. No bueno. I, I don't know. I. It's but, like know, kind of fun. I'm good. <laughs> I don't even want to know what just happened. I. 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 <laughs> And I, I put up seven, and Susan smiles and nods her head, and then you you can see the split switch go, wait a second, and then she starts counting with herself. God oh, like, damn. Well, I'm like, oh. women have seven holes? She, I don't think she, that's She looks ridiculous. up, and I'm gesturing to my nostrils and my ears, <laughs> and she just loses it. Wait a second. Three. <laughs> and then two and two. Yikes. We had our own mini conversation. <laughs> totally unaudible. But that would be so painful. What? Eight? Yeah. yeah. Belly bus? Urethra. <laughs> no. I told you, technically <laughs> you could. It would be excruciating. That, isn't it painful. behind the kneecap? It's that's called that's sounding. <laughs> <laughs> that's called ow. That's what that's called. Dude. I mean, so... if you do it right, it doesn't hurt. So, no. here's the thing. No. <laughs> Dude, there's some, like, weird hentai out there that I, like, stumbled across. You know, there's some hentai out there that they're like, what if we, like, fuck the tit? Not, like, not like... Like, like they the put their dick inside the in hole where the milk nipple. comes off. Yeah. Like, what? Okay, so as what? we no, said... No, speaking of nipple fucking, shout out to Christina Applegate. Oh, shout out, Christina Applegate, right now, you know what Christina I'm saying? Christina Applegate? No, I don't. But, as I said in a previous episode... I will look up random words like pineapple or whisk <laughs> or golf and things show up. So, sadly, I did see that the other day that uh, someone was sticking their, you know, genitalia inside of a nipple. And I gotta say, um, ow, wouldn't that hurt? Yeah. Like, yeah. that would be yeah. so well, parties. Well, but here's the thing. Some people are into pain. Well, 
But yeah, but here's here's like the thing. that's that's a different you know, kind of pain. That's just a no go. That's like opening up one of your pores, just being like, I'm gonna shove shit in this. Oh right yeah. Now. Oh right. No, I don't Neutrogena think like just sponsors this porn video. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I like that uh that intro with the cards. I'm thinking this is gonna be a pretty decent like secondary game yeah. for it to play. Yeah. That took up a decent amount of time. It's like it's entertaining. I'm down with it. Yeah. You know what's entertaining? Uh monkey in a suit drinking orange juice. You know damn straight. Hell yeah. <laughs> you know what else? <laughs> Yankee with no brim. Yankee with no brim, bruh. Yankee with no brim? Dude, look, I'm a Red Sox fan, but like Yankee with no brim? You think I can deny that? You think I can deny Yankee with no brim? What the yeah. fuck is Yankee with no brim? So it's exactly it's what you Yankee think it with is. no brim. So oh. it's, it's what a, the fuck is a Yankee? It's, it's a Yan- oh. New York Yankees hat. They took the brim off. So okay. it's like a baseball cap. With no the brim, it's just... So it's a yarmulke. It's a shitty yarmulke. <laughs> it's like a really large yarmulke with a New York Take Yankees logo shit. on it. <laughs> At Brian Wasserman. Oh, oh no! Brian. We have to redact that. Wish you were here, bro. <laughs> He's not dead, he's just not here. Yeah, he, 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 ain't, he ain't dead or nothing, but like... He, he just works We just with... miss him. Yo, speaking he of dead, it do be Halloween season. Yeah. Um, I got a question for y'all. Yeah? Yes, Who, I believe in the dead. That is not what I was going to say, you but I agree. You from, like, a New um, Jersey accent believe in the dead. What do you mean? Missouri accent. What the fuck Always. do you mean, believe in the dead? Um, the dead? Yeah, not what? debt? No, what? I said dead. I what don't believe in you? debt. Um, <laughs> I don't believe in taxes. Yeah, I don't believe in I debt. Don't believe Take in the my government. way. Happy no, birthday. but, like, what, what do you mean, you believe in the dead? Yeah, that's the exact phrase that you mean. Ghost? Yeah, but why don't you just say ghosts? Saying that you believe in the dead is like, <laughs> yeah, I think dead's a th- death is a thing. Death is yeah, a thing. Like, like, what the fuck do you mean believe in the dead? Yeah. So what oh, I, sorry, can, can, yeah. What were you about to ask, Rihanna? I was going to ask if anybody, because I am a child and I have a boyfriend, so I'm making him do a couple's costume because I suck. Um, what are y'all going to be for Halloween? In my room, drinking. Me too. Okay. Uh, I despise Halloween for personal reasons. That's that's sad, but I do understand. I'm sorry. Okay. It's my favorite. I don't know what I'm gonna be. I knew what I was gonna be, and then I changed jobs. But what I was gonna be was I was gonna be my manager, who's a fat bald man, and I thought it would be fucking hilarious. However, I have. Moved jobs since then, and I don't think anybody at my new job will understand. No one hey, knows. Hey, it's Greg. No one's Greg. No one well, knows. you know, Greg. Timothy. See, Timothy. As of right now, my boyfriend and I will be Fred and Willa Flintstone. I'm very excited because it's super fucking cheesy, and I don't have to wear shoes. Fair enough. Yeah, and neither of but us have I've, to wear pants. I have a question. No, I, with, I have an answer. With the Rona. <laughs> who we who you dressing up for? Just each other? No. So we are going to his friend's house, and uh, it'll be me and him, and then the owner of the house with her boyfriend, and then another couple will be there. We're gonna start a fire in the middle of a cornfield, and we're gonna look at the stars, and then get super drunk and I go suck a demon. <laughs> and summon demons. Wheezes. Um. <laughs> <laughs> So, oh, why, hello, yeah. Satan. Thank you for joining Stop us on our little bonfire this Hey, evening. demons, it's me. You boy. boy. Mm. Shame. I'm not going to show you all my pins. I got so many pins. I have Mothman. I should have got Mothman tattooed. I'm going to get Mothman there. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, thank you for the cards. Yo. Yo, my computer is back on. Wow. Yeah. I don't like to 17 hours. I kind of want a new tattoo, however, I don't want to pay money for it. Baby. And Jared will also, you the girl that I'm talking to, her father apparently doesn't approve of tattoos. So, uh, I don't know, bro. I mean, do you need... Three. Three. I... But 
Pittsburgh Penguins <laughs> <laughs> and New England Patriots, bro. Like, do, do you wow. need his permission no. for a tattoo? So I don't know. I don't know how dating works. So here's how it goes. <laughs> Look, man. A man finds well, but another like, person, and wait, then a, man a lot specifically. of bullshit happens, you. and then you get really sad, and then you die at some point. Fair enough. Oh. Yeah. Um, do you do? You, There's no, happiness somewhere. That's, sometimes that's not my my personal experience, but. <laughs> But my okay. personal experience is pretty great. I Listen, I don't, I don't know what dating is. I got kicked off Tinder because that, I made a puppet account. <laughs> I made a puppet account as a gag, and then people people stuff. wanted to fuck the puppet, and I said no. That's I, your own fault. You're on Tinder. You should have let him fuck the fuck puppet. That's you my fault. You should have let him fuck the puppet. Fucking the puppet? Yeah. 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 Dude, felt the name of this yeah. episode was puppet fucking. Oh. It's been declared. Or the puppet Jim Henson? Yo, speaking of Jim puppets, Hensel? I Maybe got my son puppets. in the mail recently. It's great. Mr. Bone... Bone Regard. I was, nice. I was just gonna end in boner. I don't know. Nah, his name is Bone Regard because it's like oh Bone Regard, but bone. My He's a skeleton like marionette. Weird. That's higher class than I would have expected from you, Cody. Boner well, guard? <laughs> I, I too was ex- expecting it to just be Mr. Boner. <laughs> no, it's Boner guard. <laughs> well done. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't surprised. Listen, listen, uh, I try to keep sex and puppets uh, very mm-hmm. separate because one is my profession and one is my pleasure. I thought hey, dinosaurs were a profession. It's that a good too. thing. Oh, that you do, because some people don't, and then they get fired and outed on the internet. Mixing yes. career and sex is pretty cool. Like me, I'm a delivery man for a pizza company. So, no, I, I the pepperoni. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, where is this going? <laughs> I thought you were going to be like, you want to deliver that extra large sausage. Same. God damn, you know, I really want pizza. Damn it. I was about to say, we I've seen the pornos. Huh? We almost had pizza, but then I was a cheap bitch and made ravioli instead. Uh, yeah. Because I said, I like to not pay for the food for everyone when they come here for once. Yeah. Fair enough. How much is it? Which is fair. It's normally like 35 bucks. I might be able to pay for it. Well, we've already not. eaten. Oh, that's right. Because we I made forgot. a ravioli. Yeah, I forgot about that. What if we just order a bunch of bread twists? <gasps> Well, it has to be at least ten dollars for it to be able to be delivered. What if we order ten dollars worth of bread twists? That's a lot of bread twists. <laughs> Bitch, lot. I don't think you, you can order the cinnamon ones. You All can order I the parmesan eat ones. is freaking carbs. You can order a thing yeah. of cheese bread. There's also garlic twists. Garlic. Oh, garlic. Garlic is my love. My wow. love. Garlic is love. Garlic <laughs> is life. I, I feel bad for vampires. Robert Pattinson. Oh, Robert Pattinson. What is what is this? Oh, Robert with Pattinson. Robert Pattinson. <laughs> what is this Robert Pattinson vampire thing? What? He was in Twilight. I, oh. He was Edward. What? And now he's Batman. Listen, I don't watch that gay shit. Stupid? <laughs> <laughs> she. Shit. <laughs> he. Oh no! It's. <laughs> no, I've just never no, seen can't Twilight. Say that. <laughs> I've never seen Twilight. It's because it's oh, trash. Good. You don't need to. Yeah, oh, exactly. You don't hurt in my heart. <laughs> Listen, I hate romance movies to begin with. No, I'm not watching <laughs> Supernatural, the romance movie. I remember a story mm-hmm. that happened this week. It happened recently. It happened probably yesterday. Mm, what happened? <laughs> Dumb one. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, that too. <laughs> um, I was talking about the walk-in door. Oh yeah. <laughs> so I get a text one morning that says, "Hey, whoever's opening, heads up, the walk-in door is broken." And I was like, "Okay, I mean, it was already broken when I left yesterday. So like, how much more broken could broken be?" I come in. There's a there's a stack of trays in front of the, the freezer, and I'm like, that's a little extreme, but okay. 
Yes. Was it? Was it screen scissors? Soil in your hand. Because when me and Tyler broke that door, we knew what we were doing when we decided to put it back on and put trays in front of it. I moved the trays. That was your first mistake. I went to open the door. The the, the door stayed. I went to open the door. That was the issue. The door completely falls to the ground. Yeah, so this is this is a walk-in bridge door. So it's essentially it's it's like four inches thick, and it's a full-size door. And it's all metal. It's like a big vault door essentially. So that's what fell out of the doorway oh, on, onto me. Someone that weighs like a hundred and sixty pounds, and I can't I can't bench my own weight. I'm not strong, and my response. Is and I quote, "Well, you've got to be fucking me sideways." As one of the drivers comes in, I'm still relatively new. This driver doesn't know me all that well. <laughs> he comes into me, cussing up a storm, and he goes, "What's wrong?" And I just respond with, "I need help. The door is more broken than I thought." And he turns the corner and goes. What the fuck? Wow, Susan went unhinged. Ah. Yeah. So the thing is, it wasn't even like. So it hinges right. There's actually a piece that swivels, and then there's a piece that you mount onto the door that's like a big flat piece, right? Yeah. So we broke the metal on the big flat piece. We cracked the steel. It wasn't that the hinge was like off or bent or anything like that. No, we cracked that bitch. That's what happened. Yeah. Ah. Yikes. Yeah, so me and Tyler had been closing the night before, and I was there when it fell off. And we put it in the chat, we were like, hey, the door's broken. And yeah, we put up all those trays so that Susan would, like, recognize that it was broken. Maybe she would think twice about what was about well, to happen. Well, I need it in there. <laughs> and Tyler goes, man... I hope Susan's, like, strong, and I'm, like, already shaking my head. Because <laughs> Tyler's a, I'd say he's a pretty average build guy. He's, yeah, like, yeah. five ten ish like, not super muscly, not super thin. He's kind of your average okay. build guy. Kind of like me? And he, yeah, kind of like you. Yeah. And he was really struggling to get this thing on. He's like, I don't know how strong Susan is. I'm like, eh. <laughs> No, I I literally just stood there and just kind of held it a little bit. And I'm just, I'm glad Brent locked in when he did, because <laughs> otherwise I would have just been sad <laughs> just standing there. Yeah, that happened. And what Robin was talking about, um, I I got someone in trouble. He, <laughs> I don't don't get me wrong, fuck our job. You know, like, working for a living, that sucks. Yeah. Um, however, do your job while you're at your job. This girl wasn't doing her job, so I outed her, and I got her written up. Yeah, so we have a small office that's off to the side in the back area that there's no door on or anything, and it's very quick to get from there to the make line where we make the pizzas, which is her job. Yeah. She's supposed to make the pizzas. Apparently she doesn't know how to do that. We've trained her already. I don't know how she didn't know how to sauce a pizza, but here we are. Um, so she keeps just, while there's stuff on the board that needs to be made, she'll just walk to the office and run up her phone. And managed to put, like, a giant sign on the door that said, Don't sit in here on your phone. If there's stuff that needs to be done, please do your job. This is a hangout spot. It's the office. Mm. And this girl just continued to do it and finally got written up. And then after she got written up, she just sat in the office, not on her phone, waiting to go home. That's what she decided to do, apparently. Wow. Yeah. Look, is she? It's obviously her first job, but like, come on. You I mean, it. yeah. I mean, I still worked in my first job. Yeah, you got to make the connection of okay, there's work to be done. This is work I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't be chilling in the back on my phone okay, while everyone else does my work. Or, like, we had an order come up or something, and I was working on a timed order at the time that was about to drop any second. So I was making that pizza when another order dropped, and I went, hey, can you start on that order? And she went, sure. And she got out the thin crust, she put it on the, tr- uh, on the tray, 
and then she just stared at me. I went, you know, make the pizza. Wow. Yeah. And she was like, no. <laughs> Yeah. Man, my cat's awesome. Yeah. I love my cat. I always... Cats still seem like the surreal creatures to me. Especially when one gets up close. It's because they have a conscience and you can tell that they're, like, thinking of what's happening. That and since I'm allergic to cats, I took an allergy pill before er, uh, before the podcast started. But uh, because I'm allergic to them, I just avoided them. And so the first time I actually saw a cat and was in the same room as one, because normally I see one in the distance and I'm like, I'm staying away, uh, was at age 20. I'm 21. And up until that point, the closest I had been to a cat was like 20 feet away. And right now, they need to just be chilling by my foot. Anyways. Yeah, what a dude. Yeah. He a real dude. He does this thing where when he wants ups, he'll like reach real tall and like reach up your leg and like scratch a little bit. Only he won't scratch you because he doesn't have fucking claws. <clears throat> he'll like paw at you and then he'll want to be held like a toddler. That's fucking crazy, bro. <laughs> oh man! I, well, I have a question. Say, yeah, what's up? I'd like to pose this to the group. I may have brought this up on the podcast before. I may not have. But once Robin comes back in, I'll pose this question. I pose this question to you all in order for an answer. I am stalling for Robin to get back. Okay, can vegans swallow cum? I'm sorry. I would just like to say I have been conducting a lesson plan for my education class. <laughs> and to go from talking about a lesson plan to uh, vegans eating uh, ejaculate, I gotta say, that was quite the mood shift. <laughs> um, and the I'm answer sorry. is yes, because it's protein. It is protein, but it, it is protein. technically is from a living thing. Right. From a animal. I am upset by this question. So, but it is from vegans, a human. So, so can vegans eat ass? This is another question. So here's can the thing: they, can I be, have can a vegan, vegan friend that I can ask. This. Can vegans feed their children breast milk? <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! This is these my are the brain. questions. <laughs> okay. Oh my I, god, vegans can't have honey, you poor bastards. I've never had no, honey. No, they can't. You know what? I'm surprised. Did you just sit in a room for the first 20 years of your life? <laughs> <laughs> I have never had honey or ketchup or... Ketchup, you're not missing Did much. Did you never have yeah. condiments? Well, yeah, were, well, you, like, I also, a, like, were you like locked in your room your whole life? I've also never had like, like grapefruit or... <laughs> Listen, I haven't had grapefruit either. I've had blackberries my senior year, but that was it. I, I had a hamburger, I think, maybe fun. ninth or 10th grade. Um, but I, I, uh, I ate a lot of chicken and cheese, but now I hate cheese. Because I ate too much of it as a kid. Okay, so mm. vegans can eat fruits and vegetables... Peas, beans, rocks, nuts, seeds, mm. bread, rice, pasta. Look, no. dairy no. alternatives <laughs> such as soy, such as soy milk, coca, coke, coconut coke, milk. milk, and almond milk, <laughs> and vegetable oils. Um. Do they just fucking drink nuts and seeds? Nuts are in and there. Seeds. I would consider nuts and seeds are in there, but it isn't is cons but is, is sperm it, not a seed? I think we're conflating our definition of seed from so what how the mechanisms of which a plant uses to reproduce sperm. with the mechanisms <laughs> to what an animal uses to reproduce. Because technically 
Because technically sperms are just like little tadpoles. You know what is this? <laughs> Dan, the definition of sperm doesn't have a seed in it. I can't make the connection. I'm sorry. I I don't think vegans can swallow cum. Or by extension, eat ass. Or do breast milk. Well, with the breast milk thing. Then they're not vegan. Is that, is that, who, who's saying that baby has to be vegan? No, parents. <laughs> yeah. Why exactly. does that parent get that choice? Because it's their Why child. Why does a parent get... In a very political direction. Yeah. Right oh, now. yeah. Did you hear that? I, 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 just, I just came a split second from making this very political. <laughs> <laughs> you got that <laughs> red pill. <laughs> I was a yo. Uh, on a quick side note, I just signed to Susan before I went to the bathroom, uh, <laughs> telling her that I was about to go to the bathroom, and she looked at me like I had grown a second head. <laughs> and I just want to know: Do any of you guys know like the signs for like I have to go to the bathroom? Like I was taught that in school. No, no. Please teach me that because no. I really have to pee. So what you do is you basically make a fist with one your name, them. and you put your thumb in between. The uh, middle and ring finger. Oh, so it looks you like a fucking around turd and you wiggling turn out your ass. And you and you just kind of twist your wrist. So it's just doing one of these. I that's, thought that's I have to go to the bathroom. I thought you were doing this. Mm-hmm. I, I thought you were jacking off. Mm-hmm. But I no. was like, hang on. I was taught that in school so that like kids wouldn't disrupt class. I think and that's specific to your school. So. Yeah. It, so you could do like from the back, you do one of these. And the teacher would be like, yeah, you're good. Uh, without no. you having to raise your hand, finally wait for the teacher to call on you. And the then, teachers at our school asked. would rather um, traumatize you by having you raise your hand and then yell at you for raising your hand in the middle of the lecture. See, yeah. I mean, here's the thing. My, my, uh, when I was going to school, they used to say, never, don't raise your hand to go to the bathroom unless it's an emergency. Which, to me, thought, to me, in my dumbass little mind, thought, okay, I, unless the building's on fire, I can't raise my hand to go pee. See, I, when I got to high school, so I went to in school. sixth grade. <laughs> sixth grade? <Same. laughs> what? I was talking like I was like in the first grade, sixth grade, <laughs> and I could and I didn't make it to the bathroom. Sixth, sixth grade, sixth grade, because I, because oh, I didn't no. pee during uh, I didn't pee during like our passing period, because I don't know about you, but because some places treat uh, sixth grade as an extension of middle uh elementary school. Well, where I was from, treated it as its own fucking thing. Yeah, that's what it is. Um, yeah. You, for for at least where I was at, it was six, seven, and eight were the part of the school. Five down was elementary school. When I was growing up, we had a separate school for sixth graders. Like, that's... the sixth grade center is what it was called. That's kind of weird, bro. No, it, it is so very wait. weird. So wait. So you'd go okay. to elementary school, and then once you hit sixth grade, but you went to the center. Why did you pee your pants in sixth grade? Because boy had to piss, bro. <laughs> I did. Because I didn't go during the passing period. Okay. And the the teacher had just said, "Uh, don't go to no more, don't go no to the bathroom unless it's an emergency," which my dumbass sixth grade mind thought. Okay, fuck me. I can't go unless the building is on fire. And so I I tried to hold it the best I could. But I nobody noticed. Yeah. So you just pissed your pants in the middle of class just sitting at your desk. I tr- I tried to go a little bit at a time. Oh no! <laughs> so you went multiple times, basically, <laughs> kind in, in of. one go. Kinda, yeah. I the only thought like I tried to do like a, like a little bit and then like hold it like I was trying to release the pressure, but it and I thought maybe if I did it a little bit like that, my clothes would absorb it, so I didn't leave a puddle. See, I didn't even <laughs> once I hit high school, I didn't even have to ask. 
like just not well, I was. <laughs> oh, see, we had a com- we had no, a you still strict have to ask rule. In high school. You were only allowed to go twice during the semester, and what? the teacher kept track. And if you went over that, you would have detention, like, or you just wouldn't be able to go. Like uh, your class? homeschooling was rough. See, I, I was in homeschool. That's the sad part. <laughs> It, that's the unfortunate part. Like, the, yo, you gotta class. wear a diaper to go to school. What the fuck? Can you oh. imagine your own mother keeping track of how many See? times you go to the bathroom? Well, it's times. a good. Well, here's the thing. My mom left me, so it's fine. No. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, but not really. But um, yeah. Yikes. Yikes well, hold on, indeed. hold on. What? Nick, Nick came. Uh, was surprised that I pissed myself in sixth grade, but. Let's not forget, Susan said same. True. We get the facts. Can, can we expand upon that one so I don't um, feel like I'm the only one? Well, my friends are assholes, right? As you can attest, you're all here. Um, yeah. I mean, you were back friends. Back in the with... day, I had friends that cared more about themselves than the fact that, he, he, I have to pee before we go to the library, Jessica. Please, can we go to the bathroom before we go turn in your library book? The answer was no. <laughs> oh. So, well, and like we had like a buddy system or something. Every time, like it was before school started, we had gotten off the buses. We were waiting for like class to actually start. If you had to go anywhere, like the library or the cafeteria or uh, the bathroom, you had to go with a friend. You had to take somebody else with you to go. Yeah, piss. I don't know. Why? I don't know. I don't remember. I blacked out most of sixth grade. Yikes. And my friend was like, well, I really have to go to the library to turn this book hey, in and get the next book in the hey series. Hey, Jimmy, I need to take a leak. Can you come with me into the bathroom <laughs> so that I can make tingles? Thank well, you. Well, I was like, cool, no problem. I really gotta pee. Can we go to the bathroom first? And she goes, no, 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 no. I don't want to run out of time to go to the library. How the fuck long does it take? Oh, well, ladies. And I'm take- like, and I'm like, listen, like water, <laughs> water fountain, it, like come on, a hose, let's go. I just have to pee, and she's like, no, we're gonna go to the library first. She takes fucking forever at the library, and my body ends up going, you can't hold this anymore, and just lets go of it. Wow. Uh, P.S. I never told anyone that I pissed myself in sixth grade. Not even my parents. So that's gonna be fun if they ever listen to this. <laughs> you might be safe. <laughs> I might. I might. I probably. Robin, what's the last time you pissed your pants? Um, I was fourteen and I was being called out for the Order of the Arrow, which is the Honor Society of Scouting. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Uh, yeah. It was. So it was at a spring camp read, which is when like all the troops from the surrounding area meet up and like they have one gigantic camp out. And, uh, so what happened is it was, like, 7 p.m., there was a huge campfire thing, and I knew that I was probably gonna get, like, called out for, uh, being a part of the OA, but I didn't realize it was gonna happen at that point, so I, like, I was sitting there at the campfire, and they were doing skits and whatnot, and I started having to go, but there was, it was going on, like, there was no leaving at that point, and then they started calling people up, and I still, I was really having to go at that point. And they were calling kids up one by one, and like walking them up, and the sun was starting to set, and there ended up being like 50 kids that ended up getting called out. So I was one of the first, and I was just sitting there the entire fucking time having to go more and more and more. And luckily, by the time it happened, the sun went down, and we were at a campfire, so like, you couldn't see shit. And I just went, and I was like, bro, I can't, I can't, I was in front of everyone, I was like, I can't just <laughs> leave right now. Yikes. Yeah, I pissed myself. And the dude next to me was a super bro about it. He was like, look, man, I got you. And he, like, kind of stood in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's... Listen, I... Yeah, dude, I went back to my tent, and my pants were fucking soaked. I had to, like, leave them outside overnight, and it was just going to get pissed. It was a camp out. <laughs> God, I... Yikes. Yeah, Brianna, when's myself. the last time you pissed your pants? Three minutes ago. No, I'm <laughs> Let's see. The last time that I did was, um, 
I, uh, okay, so I'll be quite honest with you. I believe that it was about seventh grade and a seventh or eighth. And oh, it was wow. because I had just witnessed something quite traumatic and okay. I had a dream about it. And out of nowhere, like after the dream, like the big scary part had ended, I was like, I really got to pee. And so I went to the bathroom and then I went to the bathroom and I was like, huh, this feels like a bed. And then I woke up. And I was in my bed, and I wake up, and I throw the covers, and I go into my grandparents' room, because I was living with my grandparents at the time. I'm like, he's like, it's one in the morning. What do you want? I'm like, so, I, I may or may not have used the restroom, but not in the restroom. <laughs> I, I know you got to get up at four, but pl- I, don't, I don't know what to do. And he's like, oh, please. Please tell me you're joking. I'm like, <laughs> and so I start crying. <laughs> He's like, oh no. I'm like, I'm oh, sorry. He's like, so, it happened. So hold on. You you had a dream there was a toilet and then you went? Yeah. I had that same fucking thing happen. Not in seventh grade, though. So, yeah. Uh, mine was 20. <laughs> That's what I missed when I went. I just got so, back from using the restroom. Is that what I missed? <laughs> He's 21. No, I'm 21. Oh, that's fantastic. I, oh, I can I take this. a sip of this Mike's Hard Strawberry Lemonade legally. We all can, because we're so, all legal here. The last time all, my piss I wasn't pants. saying that you weren't. I just said that I was. I wasn't... I'm not saying yes or no to either of you. Also, nobody... Last time that I pissed my pants was not sixth grade. <laughs> Oh, um, three days ago. I had a dream one night, uh, sophomore year of high school or college. <laughs> was this when I was basically living with you? Yes. I was. <laughs> so, Robin sleeping on my couch. I'm sleeping in my bed. I have a dream that we're going to the zoo. We're and going we're to getting the... ready. And you saw those monkeys and you just start pissing no. on them. No. <laughs> No, we're getting ready for the day, and I'm like, all right, before we leave, I gotta pee, and I'm sitting on the toilet, but my brain's like, you don't gotta pee, and I'm like, but you got, I gotta pee, and I'm like, Robin in Dream is banging on door, hurry up, I wanna go see the gorillas, or some shit, yes. like, booga booga. <laughs> That's what I'd say. <laughs> and I, in my dream, I'm like, fine, fine, hold on, I gotta pee. And then I wake up and I pee a little and I went, no! Like a little. A little how how bit. much are you talking about? Not, not, not the whole, little, just a little bit. Just like a couple drops? Just a couple drops. That's, oh, just that, a couple drops. That's, that's not, that's not week. fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, look, man, I was high as shit and I laughed really hard at something. <laughs> And I totally pissed a couple drops at least. Speaking of peeing, buddy, I, I don't think a couple drops counts. Yeah, no. A couple drops doesn't. Yeah. Count yeah, for shit. I, mean, I do that almost weekly. <laughs> <laughs> this is. I fucking pissed a couple drops. A lot. That's not a thing. But yeah. <laughs> I also audience, I hope you have enjoyed <laughs> our stories, our tales of not the bathroom. Don't you bring tales See, into this? I will say, oh, I'm not gonna man, bring tales, tales into so this. Great. That's some um, furry shit. What? So I will say, my poor boyfriend. I have him. I send him the link to this whenever I'm in an episode, and this poor man is gonna going to have to listen to the fact that. His girlfriend most definitely has urinated in the bed and whatever we talked about before. And this is this is so sad, but you know, honey, I love you. And I am so sorry that you're dating me, but this is your fault. I uh, I would like to follow up with that. Um you don't. Yeah. Uh, exactly. <laughs> uh listen, I think 
I think most people have pissed themselves at least a little uh, past the diapering stage. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. Like once or twice. <laughs> Tons. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it can't be as bad as uh, a friend of ours' brother decided to, instead of getting up to leave from playing Fortnite, shit himself. <laughs> I think we've already talked about that. On the I, I think we talked about this on the podcast, but I I want I couldn't remember if we had said any details other than a friend of ours. So or a brother of a friend of ours. Um. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She doesn't know about Tim's comments, so she's going to be editing. It's just going to be. <laughs> <laughs> He's just going to slam him with the. Just, <laughs> just going to slam him with the. This is probably yeah. one of the worst education assignments I have ever created. I yeah. gotta say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, Creamy. I when I was in shop the, class one right. time, I wood glued the wood glue bottle to the table. Yeah. <laughs> Why did you do that? I don't know. <laughs> exactly, man. <laughs> look, man. ADD's a bitch. Look, look, look it's an old, this old man, too. It's just like, why'd you do that? I'm like, honestly, man, you know, I just don't know. I thought it'd be funny. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to clean it up. And then, oh, man, we hated this guy. <laughs> Why? Because he's he was, the shop teacher. Well, no, he was the substitute shop teacher oh. because the other one got fired for not giving a shit. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, I didn't give a shit teaching shop. Hey, yeah, some kid cut his finger off in his class. Oh, come on, man. And then he got fired. Yeah. That's, you know, well, it do be like that, I uh, gotta say. I, were you in the cooking class when the teacher said, oh, yeah. I'm pregnant, but it should be fine, haha. And then school started, and she, <laughs> and she went to Lincoln. And we had a sub for the entire exam. Yo, no, we had a teacher. I had a different uh, cooking class than you did. Oh. Yo, we had a, te- we had a teacher. We were in, like, I think the seventh grade. Uh, she full on quit her job after, a, like, a two years of being there because some kids were playing catch with a glass apple she had on her desk, and they dropped it, and it shattered. (laughs) And then, like, six months later, we were out at some, like, restaurant bar, and I saw her at the bar just getting trashed. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure being a teacher takes a lot of alcohol. Oh, I'm sure it does. To to deal with kids' shit. Oh, yeah. Especially a college teacher's. Robert is now indicating that it is time for another round of Ladies and gentlemen, we are now getting ready to wrap up this podcast by playing some more of our buzz card questions. Buzz. So. What? Buzz Lightyear. To oh. infinity and beyond, <laughs> am I right, haters? Ah, <laughs> uh, you stared into my soul. Robin! So, take a drink if you own a pair of Vans and don't skate. Nope, nope, I don't I own vans. Used to own vans, but Hold on. I do know how to ski. I used to own it's a minivan. Me. It's just me. Mm. <laughs> okay. Well, I took a drink anyways. I'm sorry. All right, oh. Take a drink if you've ever seen Harry Potter movie. No muggles allowed this round. Mm. Any player with a prepped phone screen must drink. All right. I have a micro fracture in my skull. Sorry, me and Nick. Use Wait, hold on. on. Galaxy active. They just dent. They just, they just dent. Yeah. <laughs> hold on. I have a question. If you have a protection screen, like a screen you stick on over the screen, so that that one can crack no. instead of the actual screen. That's not the screen. No. Screen protection. Well, I took a drink for nothing. No, it's yeah. but it's like actually made of glass. Is Nicholas. Cool. It's too late, but I've already... T- the youngest player, I'm take sorry. a drink. Don't blame us. Blame your parents for not Loser. fucking sooner. Shit. Huh? Chad should have gotten it in quicker. <laughs> By the way, happy birthday, Dad. Happy you're birthday, four- Chad. You're 45 happy birthday, today, Chad. and you Chad. woke me up to talk about fantasy football, and you know what? That is my birthday present to you. I think I talked to you about fantasy football for 45 minutes today with no objection. Nice. Happy birthday, man. <laughs> 
Cody, and you're then going. got rejected by the All right, I believe, in the heart of the cards. Uh, all players who changed their profile pictures in 2012 to help catch Coney must drink. So if you change your profile to Coney 2012 in 2012. I did not. No. Nope. Uh, First I, off, I was 12 years yeah. old. So yeah. Now. Yeah. I didn't have any social media. Yeah, so then, none of us. Yeah. Uh, who the fuck is Coney? <laughs> yeah. I have a video to show you after this is over. All gotcha. Right. Okay. Here you go. Those at home, Google Coney. Take a drink if you're wearing a bra. I'm not. I'm <laughs> not. I am. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. It's, those oh, cards are only yeah. applicable to you. I knew that. I yeah. was testing you. You passed. Yeah. I really? Yeah, every player who knows how to solve a Rubik's Cube gives out two drinks. Okay. Cody, you said you haven't taken many drinks. I have not. Take a drink. Um, Nick. <laughs> Guys, I'm really so drinking this mic. I'm really digging this <laughs> mic's hard. I can drink without oh. getting drunk immediately. It's because it's weak. I know. <laughs> All players with an Android phone oh. must grip it and sip it. I, I'm proud iPhone of my bitches. That's all of us for Cody. iPhone bitches. <laughs> my turn? Yep. Which player has the fullest drink right now? Take three drinks to catch up, buddy. Um, <laughs> it's probably it probably is Susan. I actually. just got this drink. Three oh, drinks. Thank God. Take, take all of it. One. Two. Seven. There we go. Cody, I do believe it's you. All right, heart of the cards. Any or all players who have gotten piercings at Claire's take a drink. What the fuck is Claire's? No Claire's fucking clue. Claire's is, Claire's is a. <laughs> the females know this because this was Claire's childhood. is. Um, a store that sells like really cheap ass necklaces for too much money, and they also pierce little kids' ears with the piercing gun. You know the thing you're not in supposed to use. Yeah, in the mall. In the mall. I did not. I got pierced I did, by my aunt. I did not. I got my ears pierced at Walmart. Um, that is. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That is such a health risk. Clearly, it didn't last. <laughs> Oh, that's fantastic. At okay. Walmart. Robin. <laughs> Robin. <laughs> that's fucked up. The next person to get a push notification must take a drink. Everyone get your phones out. It's a good thing nobody contacts me. Oh, my phone's on do What if I disturb. already have a notification from Zach? Uh, was it within the time from when I asked that question? It was at 11.02. Oh, so no. I just got a <laughs> just got a notification. I got a notification. Take a drink, I updated Rhea. my I updated my freaking location. Okay. okay. All right, Rhea, your turn. Every player takes a drink for each year they had braces. <laughs> I never had braces. Two uh, drinks for me, motherfuckers. Uh, 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 four. Six. Four for me. Six. You had braces for six years, Cody? That's unfortunate. First two years didn't count according to my dentist because not all my teeth were grown in yet. That's unfortunate. Why did they give you braces when you had baby teeth? Don't fucking ask me. I still have baby teeth. Uh, well, one of my baby teeth yeah. had a root, like, longer than the tooth. All players who have an Alexa. Hold on, I need a new drink to finish the six. Damn. Give me a second. One. That's not what I meant. One. No one, one has second. an Alexa. Um, I have a cool My, my uh, Fitbit has an Alexa attachment. Does that count? Yes. No. I'm two no's and a yes. <laughs> get, hold on, let me get back before I have to just... drink again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Well, here, if you don't drink on, on that one, you'll drink on this yeah, one. Drink if you yeah. believe in ghosts. Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm good. Except I still got three to catch up on. Alright. Cody? Yeah. Hold on, still catching up. Okay. Where do you think you're going, young man? It is too late for you to go outside. Gotta check the chance. <laughs> <laughs> Bailman has left the building. <laughs> they call me off guard. I'm 
I'm not sure if you're going to be able to pick up on that audio, but she very quietly just went, going trick or treat. <laughs> Activated my trap card. Okay, last one. Let's go. All players who have stickers on their laptops must drink. I didn't have them until this week. <laughs> what? Son of a you bitch. have stickers on your laptop. You guys you drink. Guys my your entire laptop is stickers, actually. <laughs> Thanks, Susan. <laughs> All right. I think that will about. <laughs> oh my fucking. You shit your pants on the podcast. Anything for the podcast. <laughs> Anything for the pod. <laughs> Anything for the cast. I think that about wraps us up. Thank you for listening. Please share us with your friends. Um, we do this for funsies. However, money. Yeah. <laughs> this is actually kind of what I would like to do with my life not make pizzas. So if we can make that happen, that'd be a litty titty. <laughs> I'm sorry. And check out, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out our Patreon for new- <laughs> We don't have a Patreon. <laughs> I was doing a bit. Your bits have not been <laughs> successful. <laughs> Everybody say bye. <laughs>